Hello, hi everyone. Welcome back to Wu Can Cook. My name is Wesley, and this is a show where we are slowly cooking our way through all of the food from my childhood. Today we're adding yet another installment to our rapidly growing series dedicated to fried chicken with a shot at a Szechuan style hot wing. This of course comes on the heels of the now plethora of popcorn chicken and chicken wings that we have done in this series already, including the Vietnamese nook cham wings, Korean gochujang glazed wings, Taiwanese popcorn chicken, Japanese chicken karage, and just so, so much fried chicken now. Today's Szechuan wings, however, will not only be leaning very heavily, as you might have guessed, on the use of Szechuan peppercorn to create its signature numbing quality, but also on a freshly toasted and ground Chinese Fife Spice blend that is absolutely going to knock the socks off of every single other pre-ground mixture that you have ever used. To pair with this, we're also going to draw some inspiration from a Szechuan fried pork dish from my childhood known as suro that I literally have only ever paired specifically with jalapenos and cilantro. And to be honest, I'm not really sure why that is, but you better believe that's how we're going to do our wings today though. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so diving right in, we're kicking things off here first with our aromatic veggies, which will be appearing in both our breading as well as our wok fry, meaning that we're going to need a double quantity of both here. This is four cloves of crushed and minced garlic that I'm setting aside first for our breading, followed by another four cloves of crushed and minced garlic set aside for our wok fry. Then we're going to do the same thing for our ginger as well. Here's one inch or about one tablespoon of fine minced ginger set aside for our breading, followed by another one inch set aside for our wok fry as well. Next up is our jalapenos, which I'm destemming, then slicing with the seed still intact. Now, for those curious like I was, the appearance of jalapeno pepper in Chinese cuisine is absolutely a result of American influence. I'm guessing because it's one of the most easily accessible peppers here in the States. More importantly though, their more mild quality allows for us to be a little bit more heavy handed with them in our stir fry today, which is why I'm leaving ours fully intact, seeds and all. Moving on to our sauce, now I went back and forth here on whether or not to lean into the dry seasoning and go full Nashville style with these wings, but ultimately I thought I'd take an opportunity to add a very light sauce base here to give our wings a little bit of acidity. As you might guess though, our five spice blend coming up next is the real highlight of the show today, so our sauce here is really for the most part intended to just stay out of the way. This is four tablespoons of soy sauce to start, followed by two tablespoons of rice vinegar for some brightness, and finally two tablespoons of brown sugar for a touch of sweetness. We're mixing this all up to combine, then setting this aside for our wok fry while we get to work on breading our wings next. Alright, so diving into our wings here, now we've experimented with just about every known method of breading and frying a piece of chicken known to man, but today we're going with my personal favorite method for a chicken wing, which is a light dry batter leaning heavily on the use of baking powder to achieve the majority of our crisping today. Going into my largest mixing bowl here is a half cup each of AP flour and cornstarch, followed by a single tablespoon of baking powder. This is going to activate during our fry the same way that it would in an oven for a cake, and create some lovely puffing for our wings. You might more commonly see the use of an egg in more traditional methods for this purpose. Our baking powder method, however, has the added benefit that it is literally completely devoid of moisture, allowing us for a much easier time to achieve a crisped up piece of fried chicken. We're rounding out our breading with the first set of our garlic and ginger plus a pinch of kosher salt. Then I'm giving this a quick stir before adding in my wings next. This is about two dozen wings going into my bowl here that I'm giving a thorough toss to coat. Then we're setting this aside for a moment while we get to work on our five spice blend next. So, as some may recall, we have discussed this in the past, Chinese Five Spice, despite what its name might imply, is not necessarily limited to any single set of five spices. So, today I'm going with clove, fennel, star anise, Szechuan peppercorn, and cinnamon, but definitely feel at liberty to explore the wide array of spices that you can include in a Chinese Five Spice blend. 
To my taste, the cinnamon, star anise, and Szechuan peppercorn are the most prominent and iconic flavors to this blend, but again, definitely feel free to explore here. I'm taking my spices over to the stove and giving these a brief toast over medium-low heat for about 5 minutes until they're nice and fragrant. Then we're removing and adding them to a spice blender so that we may blend up these spices until a fine powder forms. Finally, I'm adding in a pinch of kosher salt to my spice blend here, then we're setting this all aside for a moment while we fry up some wings next. Back over on the stove, I have my fryer heating up at 350 degrees F, then I'm adding in my wings about 12 at a time, keeping a constant eye on the temperature of my oil here as we fry. We want to make sure that our oil temp doesn't drop below 310 degrees F or so, otherwise it's going to affect the crispiness of our wings. I'm frying these bad boys up until golden brown for about 10 minutes per batch, then removing to a dry rack while we repeat with our remaining wings. This took me 3 batches all together here. Once our wings are nice and fried up, I'm removing my fryer oil, reheating my wok, adding an additional 4 tablespoons of peanut oil, and as always, long yao for that nice non-stick surface. Then heading into my wok here first are my second set of aromatics. Here's my garlic and ginger going in for 15 seconds until nice and fragrant. Then I'm adding in my jalapenos next for about 2 minutes before following up with my sauce. We're gonna let that sauce reduce by about 20% or so before adding our wings back to the wok, then giving a very thorough toss to combine. Finally, I'm killing the heat, then adding a healthy pinch of my 5 spice blend here and tossing one more time to coat. I'm finishing this all off with a pinch of fried dried shallots and torn cilantro, and we're ready to eat. Alright, so I know that we have done quite a bit of fried chicken on this channel already, but I will say that I think this might be one of the more unique ones that we have come up with though. The lighter sauce base that we added is simple and uncomplicated, kind of completely opposite of what we might do in a Korean or Vietnamese chicken wing, and really just stays out of the way while also giving us a little bit of sweetness and brightness that I thought might be missing from our dry seasoning. Then our freshly toasted and ground 5 spice blend is just absolutely packed with aromatics and fragrance in a way that kind of makes me feel like maybe I have never actually cooked with a proper 5 spice blend before. I don't know. Our Szechuan peppercorn comes through with a light numbing quality without being overwhelmingly hot, allowing for space for all of those other wonderful aromatic spices to truly come through as well. Then finally, I think the jalapeno was a nice addition too, since its milder quality and larger physical presence paired with the very brief wok fry that we did gives for a more toothsome bite as a garnish, which for some reason feels very nostalgic to me. Okay, so that's it everyone. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you give this one a shot. For those who are new to the channel, this one is part of a larger series that we've been doing that's dedicated to fried chicken, so definitely check out that series next if you haven't yet because there's a lot of these. For the Bay Area locals, the Wu Can Cook fried rice pop-up is back at Two Pitchers Brewing in Oakland this weekend, so come by and say hi then if you can. More about that at wukancook.com slash eats. As always, like, comment, subscribe, share, be nice internetters, and I'll see you soon. Bye.